Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Spear. I'm with Warhammer Electric here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today I wanted to talk to you about a proximity tester, whether you should get it or not. So let's go over what a proximity tester is and does, and then I will give you my personal opinion on it. This particular model that we're looking at is going to be called the Volt Alert. It is made by Fluke Corp. Um, in my personal opinion, Fluke Corp is hands down the number one and only uh, electrical testing that you should get. Hands down, that's just my personal opinion. I know, you know, there's some new ones out there like FLIR and everything else. Uh, Klein makes some testers, commercial electric, but in my personal opinion, you cannot go wrong with Fluke. It is the best, hands down. I trust it with my life. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm not sponsored by them either, fun fact. So this particular model ranges from 90 to 1000 volts um, that it allegedly tests in a non-contact form. Um, you can stick these things in receptacles. That is what this little tip is for right here. It is used to stick it inside the receptacle to test whether it is hot or not. Um, it is battery operated and comes with an, just a single button usage. So you click this thing on, it'll flash at you signifying that it is on. And once it comes in contact with voltage, let's see. So I got a little cord right here. Once it comes in contact with voltage, it will turn solid red and make a sound. So you know this is hot and this is not. And when it's not, it's just flashing, signifying that it's on, testing itself. And then when it's off, solid nothing. So that is how the thing works. It's a single button operation. So, you know, there's no confusing it. There's no, you know, adjusting anything. It is just simply ready to go. Um, there is a big thing in the electrical field, whether you should get them or not get them, um, based off other people's opinions, you know, and, just like this, this is my opinion on this particular thing as yes, I agree. You shouldn't have them if you're going to get the cheap stuff. What I mean by the cheap stuff is, you know, your commercial electric, your Greenly, your, uh, your Klein tools. Um, in my opinion, those things, you know, they just do not work. You know, you need to go with a true try and tested model which would be a fluke or a fleur who that is all they do is make electrical testing equipment that is my personal opinion and even though you shouldn't trust these things you know because they are known to go wrong you know sometimes and that sometime might be your ass so you know, it's always good to double check, but if you want a quick heads up that's in the side of your pocket, you know, it's not in something you have to go find, it's in a meter bag, or it's just like laying around somewhere, or it's in the truck, you know, this thing you can carry with you at all times, and, you know, just a quick little test, you know, boom, it's on, be careful, that sucker's on, we gotta go find the circuit, turn that sucker off, you know. That is just the, it's just a quick little deal. It's not meant to determine what kind of volts are because you would need an instrument that had uh, something that you can test phase to phase or phase to ground to be considered any type of actual test, um, in my opinion. So, um, do I think you should get one of these? Absolutely. Do I think you should get one of these like a fluke or a fleur? Absolutely. Do I think you should get one of these that's like a lower grade model? 
no way um, you know more incorrect information you know will be given to you with those type of models and you, you should treat that as anything you get with any tool that you get as an electrician um, being an electrician means you should have the correct tools working on live or unlive equipment because you should treat everything as it is live and that is just my my humble personal opinion that you should really take pride in the tools that you get um, from your screwdrivers to your testers to your linesmen to even your you know your needle nose whatever you want to call it um, it is just my personal opinion that those things should come first and you should really invest in those items um, and you should invest in one of these items um, once again my name is John Spear I'm with Warhammer Electric here in Albuquerque New Mexico if you would like to get one of these I will put it on the Amazon um, the link will be down below you'll be able to check it out for yourself um, see if it's interested for you um, if you can give me you know uh, a like and a subscribe I would really appreciate it um, every little bit helps um, thank you guys have a great day